Yo, Mike, what's going on, man? Nothing, just uh, traveling back home to get ready for spring training. Fly yes. out Sunday. Yes, sir. So where, where, do, where were you? You were doing what, like media? You had like a media week for the Indians? Yeah, I mean, there's like a fan fest, but there's also like a, a media portion you got to do too that was uh, pretty interesting. How how was it? I was going to ask, how did it go? Did you have a lot? I'm sure you probably spoke on what we're about to speak on a decent amount already, yeah? Yeah, I, yeah no, I did. I did to an extent, but I was still, you know, I said a lot of my piece, and, you know, I'll say more now too, but, like, you know, a lot of those guys are, I don't want them to pick and choose my words and how they word it. So right, right, right. It. You're very, uh, for those listening, um, obviously a very candid dude for for those listening who haven't come across it um how i saw was even like made aware of you and then like your views and shit i saw i saw a video that went pretty viral and i kind of wanted to just rehash i wanted to rehash what you're saying because i thought it was a really cool perspective that i feel like a lot of consumers of the game are kind of missing about it you know like a perspective as a player and, and what it takes to get you know get to where where you are it takes it's a fucking lifelong journey right. and, and uh and and something that you 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 put everything everything you have into you know what i mean so it's it's a really interesting perspective i kind of just wanted to sh i wanted you to kind of rehash what you were talking about just the personal side not necessarily even about the game just like you know you said something that was really cool you basically were like yeah bro like i slept in my fucking mom's house while i was a professional baseball player like trying to save money and you know grind my way up to the top i just wanted you to kind of rehash it i thought it was a really cool perspective i just got cut out geek well you know watchers that aren't understanding even people like you know in the network and even in the you know they're not on the field right now they're not seeing like this was far above and beyond someone just sitting on second base like watching you tip your pitches right and for them to like go there that far and basically like change their whole i mean they, they changed that whole organization with those three years man like it flipped the whole script around there's guys that got hundred million dollar deals right out of this so we don't even know what their batting average would be if they didn't know a curveball was coming right and i have boys that like you know i grew up those friends close friends great people families kids that literally were taking out loans working three jobs in the off season to make ends meet to still try to chase that light and if like it's one of them that's getting knocked around or sitting back down not seeing it back because someone was cheating the game that hard and they expect us to brush it by the wayside and players don't want to speak out and people the network want to be quiet this is something that no i'm not gonna be quiet this is this is bullshit man you shouldn't be quiet right everyone should be mad right yeah maybe you shouldn't maybe i went a little far talking about throwing at people or whatever i wasn't really i was just more being a dick on twitter man like <laughs> I, yeah you know, like what they did was so uncalled for like i, I, I want to ask any of those old heads that used to play back in the 90s Shit, I just watched a video today of Roger Clemens throwing at a dude's head because he took too long to get in the box. Right, I saw that too. What did Roger Clemens do? They had a camera set up to steal his signs. He'd be, he'd be in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I actually saw, did you see the video of Will Clark talking about it? No, no, I didn't. Will Clark was talking about it. I, I totally disagreed with his, he was basically saying like, sign stealing's been a part of it for, you know, they just got caught. And uh, I mean, he's. I, th I want to say he was. Oh a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. He was a uh, he was a Rangers guy, not an Astros guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I I totally disagree with that. I mean, I feel like are you are you uh, from your perspective? Are you getting? Are you basically like, what's the what's the tone amongst players and the organizations? Are they just trying to tell people to kind of not acknowledge it and let let the league handle it? Uh, I mean, they they just told me to watch like teeter in the line on how aggressive I got with my right, takes. But, right. uh, you know, I understand that. I mean, I'm still going to, you know, I'm going to be as candid in me as possible. I understand, like, you right. know, I'm going to still protect my team. I want to be, I don't want any of this to be a distraction on us because someone else is being, you know, a douchebag. Like, right. That shouldn't be our problem. Right. So, I mean, that's why I'm, like, still following, you know, the P's and Q's to an extent. But, uh, I mean, I, I've had a ton of support from around the league, from players, even, uh, yeah. you know, people from ESPN reaching out and appreciating that, I, like, I would, you know, speak out against it when, it might not always be the safest, especially with uh, the Houston fan base and yeah. the amount of death threats I've gotten. So are you 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 getting death threats from from back in the, the what last regular season? You guys had a, had a shit going on, right? There was like a you were yeah. you were more or less you more or less were kind of calling them out for it, like you knew about it then. Well, yeah. Well, uh, it all kind of started with them, like their fan base attacking me. It, well, it wasn't their fan base at first. It was you know, I mean. 
I had an interview after a game. I gave up three earned runs. I lost on like one hit, like this hit that basically took the game. Right. They kept bringing up how special the Astros were. They kept saying it. They kept saying, how good are they? This one Houston beat rough, I who it was, was in there, kept asking. I kept kind of like answering other questions and kind of like, you're brushing the side. So I just, I just lost. Man, I'm not going to talk about how good someone is when I lost. Like, right. That's not my game. Bro. Right. I can go pat someone's back and get that participation trophy. That's not what I'm about. Right. And so like, finally got, I finally got asked it for a third time. Like, dude, they're not that special. Right. I'm right there with them. Like this, and then they, that's the only part they cut out the interview was that part. But if you listen to the rest of it, I'm like, they're not that special. This is the big leagues. Anybody in any, any given night can beat somebody. Right. They're not that far ahead of anybody. Right. And then I guess they got wind of my interview, and the next day they beat us. And uh, Greg was running on the locker room telling everybody, make sure you use special in your interview. And the reason I know that is because some reporter wrote, snitched, his own reporter snitched on him for running Sheesh. on the locker room telling everyone to say special. Yeah. And everyone's saying special in the thing. And next thing you know, there's this whole mockery video of me after playoffs. Mm-hmm. After we got beat in the playoffs, gets put out. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, I'm getting absolutely shit roasted by them. My mom had to delete her Facebook and shit for a while. You know how your moms are with Facebook? Yeah. So oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah, like, I mean, but it, it, it got serious to the point where, like, I mean, they're, they're they're saying like really, really crazy stuff on pictures of me and my daughters, like, yeah, stuff wow. I don't even want to, I don't even want to say again out loud to put in the universe, like stuff I would even on my worst enemy wouldn't even say, let alone a stranger. Right, right, and that's right. That's when, like, when all this, like, when I knew they were cheating, how much it was eating me up inside. And I couldn't say anything about it because I don't have any proof, proof. Right. At the time, so that's when it busted out, and like, I know about some of these dudes that have been sent home not be able to get back to the big leagues they're walking around carrying a bat to first base pounding on their chest right staring at a camera yeah the whole time like dude and i'm getting like me and my family watching our back and even right now like i mean i'm right. getting death threats to even don't show your face in houston i'm gonna make sure you don't make it out of houston how many burner accounts are being made by wow you know, really fake cowboys out there like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so just to clarify, back then when 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 you did, you know, you guys were played them in the playoffs and lost. Did you guys you guys felt pre- you know I know Trevor Bowers on your team. He's going to be coming on on the podcast soon to talk about it. But you guys knew amongst yourselves that something was going on, some fishy on their side was going on, but didn't exactly know or just kind of knew and didn't really. It had you no, needed proof. I mean, me and him knew like i knew i already had someone mm. already well someone personally kind of snitched to me wow definitely not gonna release any names yeah, like yeah, a while yeah. ago and that was before our playoff against them in 2018 was when i even got word from someone there wow and then being tv news is 2017 basically you know everything kind of going on without no like right you know maybe some text messages or whatever but that's not you know that's not proof proof so like we right. just had to sit there and kind of eat it but we knew all along like man they're not gonna Someone's not going to get their money. Someone's not going to get picked back up. That's someone's what happens. Gonna, someone's going to fucking snitch. And that's exactly, I mean, that's you know, they're going to keep that glue together. It's the biggest secret in baseball history, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I was just going to say that. I mean, in my opinion, just obviously I, I used to play and just being removed, imagining uh, dealing with this. I mean, I, th- I think it's the worst sports cheating scandal in the history of the game. I mean, Pete Rose, we, Pete Rose is a guy who gambled on himself and is banned, you know, banned from the game banned from the hall of fame can't go into a stadium you know and, and like you said these guys are <laughs> these guys are being championed and you know walking around with the same same bank account and i i mean in your opinion or i guess uh, yeah it's nothing more than an opinion what do you what do you think should should be the scenario going forward how should this be addressed i mean i know it's obviously a league thing that will have to be sourced but there's nothing ever there's never been anything like this really you know what i mean it's something this yeah, yeah. That's why, like, I can't fault the, I mean, I really can't fault the MLB. Like, I, I think it's such a gray area, such a, like, a crazy ordeal that it, you, you don't really know how to, what are we, like, right. ban, like, nine players from ever playing again that, you know, that just, some of them do, like, I mean, some of them do, like, I know, like, even Bregman, Altuve, like, I mean, they have crazy charities. They do a ton of work in the community. Mm-hmm. I, like, I mean, that's stuff that's, you know, like, you don't really want to take that away. Right. But then again, like, the integrity of someone that can sit, sit there and show their face to the camera like that and not want to speak to the camera after getting popped. Like, right. Hey, come, talk, talk. come out and talk. Exactly. Come out and say something, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, a, that's the true integrity. Like, if you can, especially when things, especially when this, when this comes public, to not be able, I, I know, I don't even play, and I was, I was definitely irked just by seeing how they were reacting and seeing how they were handling it. Yeah, how they handled their tribe for whatever their fan fest. 
is. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, it it is what it is. It's one of those things where I'm just I'm so eager to see. I'm eager to see how it plays out. But it's it's one of those things where I feel like it's it's definitely tarnished the game. I don't know. I don't know if it will impact like fan engagement or anything like that. But it, it it's definitely tarnished the game. I don't I don't know. It's it's definitely tarnishes their those titles. You know, tarnishes that completely. So yeah. I, I don't know how the hell they're supposed to. I think at the very least, if you're not going to ban the players, like, I don't know. I think you might have to take those titles back. It just doesn't... This... Or disqualify them for being able to win an award for the next, like, three years. Something, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Something where you, you can't get the accolades. You can't get there. And, I don't know. You can't keep holding up hardware. Right. And when you kind of fucked over, there's a lot of dudes, like, in a very, very like, oh, yeah. cynical way. And like, there's no... it was very premeditated, too. It's not like, fucked oh, up. shit, this camera's on. Like, dude, you set up a whole system, had you know, IT people in there hooking up their laptop to a TV and then brushing the TV off before anyone, the game got over. Like Nuts. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Yeah. So, I mean, regardless, going forward, there's got to be, I mean, I'm sure the league's going to make a, a huge effort to make sure this doesn't ever happen again. But I, I thought there was a really cool point you touched on. There's no way of quantifying how many... There's no way of quantifying how many fucking guys got fucked over by this. You know what I mean? Like, how many guys who just happened to get called up or were just up at that time and get a start in fucking in Houston and get to play and then just get their fucking titties ripped. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like, you know, as a pitcher, you know, you work your whole life, you get up there and then you get your fucking shit on, right? That can yeah. that can ruin that can ruin your your psyche. That can that could really ruin the trajectory of everything you've worked for your whole life. And I thought you had you had really worded that well when you were talking candidly getting the tattoo on that video. It's just like it's true, man. Like you, you don't know how many lives you you potentially like really ruined or not even ruined, but like really kind of you know basically or threw a, threw a wrench in it. Threw a wrench in it. Yeah, mentally, like, especially them being baseball players, know how many like. Bro, this, how many times, and I, I mean, mental health is a problem everywhere, man, but how many times you read that story? You ready?